Okay, I remembered what I wanted to say. Uh, Donald Trump was building a wall. He's facing a judge that's of Mexican heritage. Uh, but you see, I was supposed to be, when I, when Donald Trump got elected, I was supposed to go to Washington and be on his staff. And I was in Daytona Beach, Florida. And what happened in Daytona Beach, Florida was somebody stole my camper and I couldn't go to Washington. I couldn't um, afford anything in Washington when I was when I got there as far as place to stay. And because they stole my camper, the city of Daytona Beach stole my camper. Because they did that, um, I was homeless for three years. Uh, and um, that may have been by choice. Uh, but you see, that's not explained um, in the way it should be explained. Um, but I should, what I wanted to say in before in different matters, um, I wanted to say that instead of going to Daytona Beach in the way everyone did, including myself, I should have bought a boat, uh, a boat and stayed offshore. Uh, now, in Daytona Beach, there's a inland waterway uh, in Daytona Beach, and it's right by the courthouse. Um, and there, there are docks in there for boats and stuff. But it was supposed to be offshore, and there was a pier that was supposed to be constructed uh, for the Pope in uh, next to um, Fairwinds Credit Union or something like that. I don't know. There was a bank or something. But it was on A1A. Um, but anyway, I was supposed to get up there and, and be with Donald Trump and someone stopped it. Someone prevented it from happening because of the way uh, the exploiting uh, politicians who are exploiting the American people and don't even care about the American people, um, they didn't like Donald Trump. They didn't want Donald Trump to succeed. They don't. And now here is Joe Biden with his control of this city, this state, this county, my sister, my cousin next door, and all my relatives here, uh, e w effectively, he won't send me a paycheck. There isn't a single leader in this world, or country in this world, that will send me any kind of pay, and here I am looking the way I'm looking, uh, but I'm the person that's right here, uh, and someone saw that a long time ago, and now I'm a judge, uh, just sitting here uh, waiting for something um, to happen where I will not be involved in the people that uh, are affected so very well uh, by this government of politicians that are nothing but criminals that use the police and courts to get what they want, see, and so... I was prevented from going up there, and he's talking about a uh, judge of Mexican descent uh, when he's building a wall uh, across the southern border that's supposed to go the whole way across and extend the Rio Grande River to Baja, California, and uh, possibly bypass the Panamanian uh George Bush called him a dictator, uh, but he was um, Noriega, you know, um, Noriega. Uh, but um, Donald Trump doesn't know anything or didn't know anything about this wall or how he was supposed to construct it, and there were certain things that had to happen before he could be, he could become informed about what how that wall was supposed to be put together because um, it's supposed to go five miles below 
the border, which is on the Mexican side, there's a wall that's supposed to go five miles from the border there and five miles on the north, uh, creating an international zone all along the southern border of the United States and the northern border of Mexico. Uh, and there's supposed to be a river in there, which is a, supposed to be a place of refuge for all people in the world, uh, an international um, protection zone, I think they call it. And they're supposed to put embassies from every country all along that border. And that's the, that was the plan for that. And uh, clean coal is not clean coal. Clean coal is um, propane from the air. Uh, refine, uh, it's, it's, it's a power plant, but it's propane from the air. And that's the clean coal because you're taking carbon out of the air, which um, is, of course, carbon is coal. So it's clean coal, and uh, that's why it's called that. And uh, it, was, it was Florida and myself that put that, you know, it was the state of Florida. It was, we came up with the clean coal uh, power plant, and we were supposed to put those in Iraq in order to help those people uh, when it came time to say that all world vehicles will be electrical vehicles from this point forward and there won't be any uh, OPEC or world oil uh, prices that are too high for everyone and that was Venezuela not Venezuela, it was, um, I don't know, it was that country down there in, uh, where they were selling gasoline to their people for um, real cheap, and the, the guy, the, the president was assassinated in that, in that country, um, but uh, here we're talking, see, we're being prevented on one, one, one issue, and that is Donald Trump. What is Donald Trump? How is his uh, nature? And that is what caused all these problems. And these people are reinstituting their uh, dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. Um, and um, the only reason they're doing that is because they do not like the nature of Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is an American citizen with rights. He has every right that anybody else does. He's an equal to anyone in this country according to this country's law. And these people are manipulating the press. They're manipulating uh, the comedy clubs, the comedy shows on television that we aren't supposed to watch anymore. The, uh, the actors, the movies, the radio talk shows. And they're hiding the truths that were exposed in the operation that took place, no matter who did it or when it happened, uh, it happened, and they're covering it up, and they're lying about it, and here's your great opportunity uh, to see me sitting here with nothing but my family and the neighbors and the city and the Pittsburgh police uh, and the and all that they have here that they've been using for 50 years to keep me under their thumb. And for a distraction, we have a spectacle in Eastern Europe where someone started a problem that is 
uh, with one of our best and most reliable allies that we've ever had in this country and they're attacking they want to destroy and abolish the Soviet Union they want it gone and the government is only the COVID-19 recovery plan is only to reinstitute the financial system that nobody knows anything about right now nobody knows the status of that economic system when the world the entire world was paused for or didn't exist for a year or thereabouts and here's Trump trying to argue his position and well where, where is he going to go we said that the president of the United States is nothing but a target. He's always a target. And everyone who wants to run into that office thinks that they're going to have some kind of great uh, opportunity with that office. But it's only an opportunity to um, hurt other people, cause other people discomfort, and be a rude and imposing uh, angel of whatever kind of information they want to tell you. And that was classified, I guess, when was that? 2,000, 3,000 years ago? Maybe more? I don't know. But we know what that is. Somewhere. Maybe. If we're allowed to be what this country is all about, and that's free, independent individuals with liberty to be able to speak our minds and do what we want without anybody getting in the way of our own personal uh, liberty, rights, and uh, existence. And so what's... what? What is the problem? What, what's, what's happening? We've got an argument. And who, who do we have to straighten out the argument? I don't know. Maybe an underfunded guy sitting in a motorhome that can't leave the driveway uh, with two boats that are uh, they want to find somebody for, for something maybe, or maybe confiscate that boat. Uh, when they supposedly don't know who that person is. They just, for some reason, I don't know why this person is such a uh, target of gossip and lies when uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't really do anything, does he? Does he do anything? He only does what uh, somebody else wants him to. How about that? What do you think of that? Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's right? So, okay, so I wanted to say something here about Donald Trump and that judge or uh, how he's being treated in a system that he can't escape because maybe he doesn't have a passport or something. Maybe he's just too much the spectacle to be exploited. And uh, everybody else doesn't care. They don't, they don't care. They want to vote for Trump. So that's the situation.